Atlantic City, they focus on the glitz and glamour of the casinos. But casino jobs have not lifted every Atlantic City resident out of poverty. There are people who live in the resort who aren't doing as well as those who visit. This is a city where nearly half of the families with children live in poverty. One of those families is Nicole Fisher and her six children. My name is Nicole Fisher. I'm 43 years old, the mother of six children, raising them by myself in the streets of Atlantic City. What's the biggest challenge? Raising them up right, bringing them up right, um, making sure that they have the necessities that they need as far as a house, food, clothes, running water, they get to the doctors okay. Um, that, that's basically it. My life today, supposed to 26 years ago, is a lot harder. Um, 26 years ago, it wasn't, when I had my first child, it wasn't that hard. Nowadays, I'm raising children and the way the economy and everything is, is it's not good at all. Um, you have to learn how to budget your money. You also have to learn how to bargain shop. It's really not easy. Sometimes you have to pinch from one bill or month to month to get what you need. Um, so it's an everyday struggle, but with Jesus on my side, I'm good. I was born and raised in Mullica Township, New Jersey. Um, I live with my mother and my older siblings, five older siblings. At the age of 13, I moved out and got married to my daughter's father, which we're now legally separated and divorced. We have one child in that, in that marriage. Um, Life was, was grand back then. I didn't have no worries, no nothing. It didn't happen until I started getting out on my own and experiencing and taking on a lot of responsibilities. Nicole Fisher starts her day like most people, except she has six mouths to feed, three biological children and three of her sister's children. If I don't have enough food, I really stress, and I'll go without just to make sure that they have. Um, if it means pull something together, I pull something together. Um, not every morning do they want to eat. Sometimes we just have oodles and noodles and sandwiches. I mean, to many people, that's a meal because a lot of people don't have. But to me, personally, that's not a, whole, that's not a meal to me. But you got to make ends meet of what you can with what you have. I'm going to start the waffle, so don't be too long. Carminio! I'm on your breakfast. Well, since I'm the only girl in the house, I have to interact with the boys and stuff. So it's real rough. Kareem, you gonna get ready to walk on? Yeah. Everybody come in for the big hug. Come on, Taylor's a comical person. Oh, is he going to me? Yes. I hope your bus ain't late. Have a good day. Give Kareem your hand. Nicole Fisher does receive a break on her finances during the academic year when her children are in school and at least receive free lunch. Nicole Fisher talks about the highs and lows of relying on the government to provide for your family. Back in January, I was getting $9.73 a month in food stamps. Because my income went up $50 in, starting in March, they cut me down $300. So right now I'm only living on like $7.03 a month feeding myself and six kids, which two of them kids are grown men. They eat grown plates, grown portions. So now I have to, when I cut myself and, and, and um, worked around me, budgeting my food stamps two months ago, I have to really, really budget myself now. Like I really have to catch sales or I have to go shopping for bulk at one time and then save to see if money to see if they have a sale later on, which I don't like when I go shopping. I want to go shopping and shop for the whole month, get everything I need at once. I don't like to go part times. So the, the way the economy is going now, it's going to suck and making the kids, it's going to really suffer. The kids are going to suffer. And this is the 